pretty quiet morning. Usually we have a ton of birds out here. I'm kind of surprised how, how quiet it is. Maybe they're hunkering down. Hey guys. Oh, here they come. Good morning, come on. Want some treats? They love woody species, shrubs, trees, but mostly things that are vines. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I need help with. The whole reason why we started the program is this plant right here. This is called Oriental Bittersweet. It outcompetes the native plants by basically just covering them up. You can see it just twines around itself and smothers all the plants around it. Goats have always been around, they eat everything, so why can't we figure out new ways to help control things? Working with Melanie, we started getting our kids out here, showing them what the invasives are, and then my expertise is more in animal science, so helping the park system with my expertise in animals, we got to partner and allow my kids to manage the goats, and we, you know, we always are trying to find new, unique ways of getting kids involved and actually showing them truly what's out there instead of just a textbook, what are some hands-on labs that they can do. And so we have to teach about invasive species, we have to talk about integrated pest management, and we have to talk about animals. And so this was just a perfect partnership. So the other benefit to the goats is that they can reach up very high. So they eat anything that they can reach. We're the lead goat, aren't we? All right, now you gotta get to the plants. This is an example of what the ecosystem looks like after we have the goats here. This is kind of our end product of, you know, the invasive is still here, but the natives are finally getting a competitive advantage and able to kind of grow and adapt. One of the things that is really just now being studied is the mental health. And what they find is because they're in these natural environments, they're able to climb over logs and they play out here. You'll see them do all kinds of things that they couldn't do in like an agricultural setting. It's not only is it something that this animal, this livestock is healthy and happy, it's enjoying its life while it's here, but it's more cost effective and it's dealing with a major environmental issue at the same time. I mean, this is the epitome of sustainable agriculture. 